Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to upload files to SFTP server using csharp.net or SSIS. So recently I got a lot of questions from multiple people to make videos on downloading and uploading the files to the SFTP server. So let's jump to the demo. To connect to the SFTP server, I have downloaded a client WinSCP client. So I can just open this one WinSCP and I have already created a video like how to install the SFTP server on your Windows machine and then how you can download and use the WinSCP client to connect to the SFTP server. So we will use the WinSCP client just to view the files in the GUI. So the file protocol is the SFTP and now we need to provide the IP address of the SFTP server. So SFTP server is installed on my same machine. So I can open the command prompt and I can check the IP address of my laptop. So this is the IP address, IPv4 address. So I can copy the IP address from here, copy it and I can paste it here. The port number will be 22. The username is HP for the machine on which the SFTP server is installed. And let me type the password here and then I can click on login. So this will connect to the SFTP server. So on the right side, this data is from the SFTP server. Okay. So I want to upload the files to the SFTP server here. So what I will do actually that in the HP, if you see the C drive, so in the C drive, there is a folder data to load. So I will upload the files to this particular location. Okay. And if you see on my local machine, I got two files, email underscore part one dot CSV and email underscore part two dot CSV. So the files are situated in the D files location. In this particular video, we will be using a DLL, which will be used to upload the files. And the DLL name is this one, rency.sshnet.dll. So I will share this particular DLL with you so that you can use it in your code as well. So the first thing that you need to do, if you have not registered this particular DLL, then you need to register this DLL. Okay. So you can use the PowerShell to register this DLL. So you can type PowerShell here and then you can right click and click on run as administrator. So this will open the PowerShell in the admin mode. You can press enter and then you need to give the command to register the DLL. Okay. So I already have the command written with me so I can use this particular command and I will share this command and code with you so that you can use it in your environment as well. So I need to give the location of the this rency.sshnet.dll. Okay. So I can press enter. So now you can see that the DLL has been registered to the GAC and under GAC you can see a true. So this DLL has been registered and now I can close this particular window and I can open the D files location. Okay. Now what we need to do, I will be creating a C sharp console app here just to show you how we can upload the files to the SFTP server and you can use the same code in the SSIS package as well in the script task. In my last video, how to upload the files to the SFTP server using SSIS or C sharp.net. First I created the C sharp console app and then I showed you that how you can create the new SSIS package and then how you can copy the code from the C sharp console app to the script task in the SSIS package. In this video, I will just create the C sharp console app and then I can show you how you can just upload the files. Okay. And you can also call the C sharp console app. If you can just rebuild the solution, which will generate an exe file, then you can call the exe file in the SSIS package using the execute process task. So first of all, let me just open the visual studio here and I will try to create a C sharp console app here. I can click on create a new project and I can select console app here. Click next from the location. I will select .NET app and then this will be the solution name. How to upload files to SFTP server and then I can click on create. So this will create an empty solution for me where I can write my code. The empty project has been created. Now I have already written the code, the method to upload the file to the SFTP server. So I can just copy and paste the method here. I can explain you what we are doing here but before that if you check the references so we need to add a reference to the DLL that we downloaded from internet so I can click on add reference and then you can just browse the file that you downloaded this one rency.sshnet.dll so you can add it and you can click on ok so this DLL has been added now now if you click on SFTP client so it will show you show potential fixes so you can select using rency.sshnet okay so this DLL has been added the using statement has been added in the top and now for the directory and for the file stream we need to use the system.io so we can click on using system.io so this one has also been added so I think our code seems good now 
and we can call this particular code inside the main method okay so let me explain you what we are doing here it's pretty straightforward so this is the IP address of the SFTP server and this is the port number as you know that SFTP server uses the port number 22 and this is the username of the machine on which the SFTP server is created and this is the password for the HP user now we want to upload the files to this particular destination folder so if you open the win scp clients so here you can see the path forward slash c colon forward slash data to load forward slash so this is the path where we want to upload the files to okay and this is our local folder path from where we want to upload the files d files location so in the d files location i got two csv files what you want to do you are just looping through all the local files and just checking all the csv files in the local directory so there are just two csv files in the local directory now we are just running a for each loop here so the loop will run two times now we are just assigning the local file path to a where variable here and then just creating a new instance of the sftp client and passing the host name port number username and password here then we are connecting to the sftp client we are changing the directory of the sftp clients so by default it uploads to the default directory but here we have given a particular directory and you can give any directory path here and the file will be uploaded to that directory only so we change the directory path here and then we are checking that if the client is connected then we are using the file stream method which will actually create a file on the sftp server and the buffer size to upload this file will be this one and then we are just uploading the file in this particular method so that's what we are doing here so this particular code should be able to upload all the files from your local folder to the sftp server so let me execute the c -sharp console app and it should upload the two csv files from your local machine to the sftp server so the process ran fine and if you check the win scp client and if you refresh the folder here so you can see that two files just got uploaded to the sftp server so i think this is pretty straightforward and i will share this the whole code with you and the dlr as well and i will share the link in the description of the video as well like uh, how you can create the sftp server how to download the files from the sftp server and uh, yeah i will share the code to register the dll as well if you have not already registered yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much